Shalom and a warm welcome to this international online Sunday service. Welcome to the month of August. July ended on a spectacular note where we saw the movement of the mighty hand of God as was prophesied by the voice. Now we'll get into a bit of that with Pastor Chikri, but uh, a warm welcome to you. We are so thrilled for the service that we'll have today and we know that you're going to enjoy it as well. Pastor Chikri, welcome. Always good to be here. Thank you, Pastor Karambe. Man of God, this past week we saw the manifestation of spirit speech. Amazing. It's amazing how every single thing the prophecies, the, the teachings we're getting now, and even before, they're locking in sync one after the other. It's amazing how the voice said two weeks ago, men of God, be careful what you say. It's amazing. It's really amazing. Because they are monitoring. They're individuals who are monitoring every single word that is said by the church because they want to know where is the power being distributed from. It's a religious war. It's amazing how, I think, let me say naive, let me use the word naive. Mm. We have been in terms of our understanding of spiritual matters or the magnitude at which our father operates. I think basically you will realize that, imagine, I think we have separated wealth and power. And I think that there's an error somewhere in that area because you look at how they've, the, 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 the billionaires, or, or these individuals that society has looked upon mm. and said, these guys have achieved, these guys have done it. And you look at the focus they have given to our, the utterances of our father mm. and how they so much try to ensure that what our father says doesn't get out there. Mm. Can you imagine, can you imagine of all the things that a person can do to remove the coronavirus prophecy? <laughs> The coronavirus medication prophecy, in yeah. fact, was taken down. Imagine. A few weeks after being released, YouTube decided this needs to come down. But anyway, there's so much that we, <laughs> we, we want to say and we'd like to say. But let's hear it from our father. Exactly. This is where the coronavirus prophecy came from. Mm -hmm. January mm -hmm. 2015, all the way through. And we're so grateful that we have an opportunity to hear from where it originated from, mm -hmm. the voice that has spoken this. You know, like you're saying, Pastor Koramba, you realize that society right now is living on the word that is coming out of the mouth of our Father. Yes. I, 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 like I said before, I wouldn't want to imagine had our Father not said anything, had our Father not been communicating with us on a regular basis, mm. where we would be, it's, it's just something else. Yeah. But we thank God for the voice. He's continuously coming to us. Yes. And I believe today is an opportunity. This morning is an opportunity where we get to hear the heart of our Father concerning today. Yes. Like as always, you, you mentioned the point of being in sync. Yes. Like I've always said, one of the reasons why I love my Father so much is relevance and practicality. Mm. And that is what I believe is going to come our way this morning. Because a lot of, has been said about the coronavirus at this particular moment. There's a lot of news that's come through in the past week. And uh, we're itching. We, we need to hear from the voice mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. what it is that is happening now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, we believe you're ready and uh, you are expectant to hear from the voice this lovely morning. We'll introduce him now. Greetings, our Father. Thank you. Thank you so much for being with us here, Father. I'm glad and delighted to be here. Okay. We'd like to thank you so much for championing the course of the future and the direction of the globe through your spectacular, magnificent, prophetic grace. Father, thank you so much for keeping us under such a wonderful covering, so secure and at peace, uh, spirit, soul, and body. Father, we thank you for the prophecy that you've given concerning the coronavirus. Father, we know that you, you may have had something prepared for us that is different, but Father, we, we want to hear from you concerning this issue. So much has been said this past week, so much has happened, mm -hmm. but we are, we are here. You are our source. 
you gave this word to us more than half a decade ago. Mm. We want to hear the mind of God concerning this issue. Father, we thank you so much. We honor your presence here and we celebrate you. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for hosting me here. And also again, we have to extend our very special gratitude to the Christ TV crew who are sacrificing every single moment and uh, ensuring that we get into people's homes at this very difficult and trying moment. Yes, Father. And I, I really appreciate that. And I, I understand where you pastors are coming from. Given the uh, unfolding of events throughout uh, this past uh, week. Yes, Father. And, and, and we, we really have to say something concerning that. Yes, Father. If it's okay with me, any area that you would want me to elaborate, we are here to discuss and to thank you, Father. Thank you. Do Father. the best we can to provide the necessary information. Thank you, Father. That is so much needed out there. Yes, thank you, Father. It's not just hunger. It's not just poverty that is uh, bedeviling our people, but information is being withheld from them. And who knows? Uh, given what we are saying here, millions of people are going to be saved. Millions are going to be comforted yes, and hope ultimately will be restored. Yes, so, um, because of what you're saying, I may not. <laughs> <laughs> I may not need to get into scriptures and so on. But let's just face what is facing us and, and just try to be as practical as we as we can and address the situation that we have at hand. Thank you, Father. Thank and I you. pray that, guys, you will help me so that we don't sit here for too long. <laughs> okay. Because we've been, <laughs> we've been sitting on this issue for quite a long time already. Yes, sir. And um, um, please allow me, Father. Please. I know already you have asked this, but please allow me to just probably try to push you in a certain direction. Mm. My father, firstly, I would really want to appreciate you in terms of, number one, giving us the heart of God concerning our time mm -hmm. and what has been bedeviling us mm -hmm. and what we've been going through. Yes, thank you. When you first gave the prophecy, number one, you mentioned the source. Mm -hmm. Number two, you gave the figures, millions will be affected. And Today we sit here and we watch the numbers of people that we affected. At some point we never really thought Africa would be affected as much. But we're beginning to see a spike. And you highlighted that will, will it not affect you? Will it affect you? And, and, and now we are seeing your word come to pass. I for one was one of those people that were, was a bit skeptical when you mentioned millions. But look at the COVID cases now, the positives, those that are in quarantine, those that have been treated, those that have died. Mm -hmm. And they've declared it a pandemic. And in your prophecy, you use the, the, the term plague. plague. That's right. And you look at the term plague and you try to find its definition. You'll be amazed that it also talks about infection in the lungs. Mm -hmm. So it was kind of a deliberate word that you used. And then you also look at Things like infection, you then talked of the common norolon, which is chloroquine, basically. That's the term that we use in Zimbabwe yes. to define chloroquine. Mm -hmm. And having used that, you look at the noise that is coming out now. And we are watching, it's, it's, it's a reality show. Yeah. It's It's, it's a practical thing that we are seeing. Sure. And to imagine that the time that you mentioned this prophecy <laughs> and what is going on today and how relevant it is, mm -hmm. there is no other person that talked about this. And hence there is no other person that we can ask about this. Mm -hmm. Hence we have come to you. Yes, but my question would be my father, 
there is something that I'm trying to do here. My question would be, why all this disinformation? Why are people trying to push a vaccine that is not there, that is not tested? Whenever they try to test, people die. That has not been proven. And yet we've got a drug that has been there for over 65 years, proven in Africa, proven in the world. I was shocked when I saw that they call hydroxychloroquine, they call it plug nil, which is plug nil. And, and, your prophecy, and the prophecy that you gave, and I'm trying to figure out why, especially in Africa, why are leaders so silent? What is going on, my father? Because people are dying as we wait for something that is not there. Please help us, Father. It's, 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 it's quite a, a very sad scenario that we, we, are, we are dealing with. Never in the history of uh, mankind have we had such a, a situation mm. like we are currently having. I understand we might have had other plagues before, but we never had uh, liars and, and deceivers like we have this time around. Yes, Father. So in as much as we cannot compare this disease to any of the diseases, in as much as even if we wanted to say it is not as strong as other flu infections that we once had in the past, but this time around, what makes this one different are the people mm. that we now have that they never had. Mm. 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 So we have a plague <laughs> and we have people behind it who carry the same nature, who are as good as the disease that we're trying to deal with. This thing is very, very deadly. Mm. People should not underestimate the impact of this plague. This thing, if people keep on joking, You know, well, let me educate uh, those of you that uh, desire to know and to understand the heart of God. Yes, Father. Yes, Father. Yes, Father. When, when you make a decision that you want to be updated in as far as God's current affairs are concerned, you must then be willing to get yourself acquainted with God's spiritual vocabulary there must be that willingness mm. to sacrifice what you know, to sacrifice your own personal understanding that you might have gotten from school. You must be willing to sacrifice your definitions if they are not giving you the good results that you expect. Mm. And reach out to wisdom and intelligence that is wow. beyond 
your sphere, your environment. Yes, because Father. everything within your reach is what you have tried. Yes, and Father. it has failed. Yes, Father. So by understanding God's language, you must know and understand that when God is speaking, what language does he speak? And when a prophet comes to you to deliver what God would have said, it is never the language that you hear him speak that you would have heard from God. Mm, different language. Mm, mm, mm. God speaks the God language. Ah. And the prophet converts that into the human language so that humans can benefit from whatever it is that God is, is up to, yes, God is saying. For instance, even if you are to have a prophet coming and telling you that there is a plague that is coming, whether you see that in scripture mm. or you have a physical prophet prophesying to you spiritually and declaring that there is a catastrophe that is coming. Yes, whichever way he puts it, you must understand that is not exactly how he had it mm. from God. Mm. Mm. God doesn't speak English. <laughs> he doesn't speak Shona. Wow. Okay? Yes, sir. Yes, so, let's say the prophet comes and then, or oh, maybe the scripture says that you shall have plagues which are incurable. Plagues that you can never treat. Mm. When you see a statement like that, whether in a book, which is the Bible, or you hear that from the mouth of a present prophet that you have, mm -hmm. you must understand what has led to that conclusion. Mm. What has led either God or even the prophet to that conclusion that you have a disease that cannot be cured, yes, that can never respond to medication. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it is not because of the severity of the disease, the intensity of the disease, the strength of the virus. Maybe the prophet is focusing on the people around it. Because God can come and tell you that you will have a disease that you can never be cured. Yes, sir. Not because of the unavailability of the cure, but the unavailability of the willingness to have the disease cured. Mm. So what is critical and what is serious may not be only the disease, but the people that we have. That is an issue now. So you can have God telling you a disease that is coming that you will not be able to cure, not because you can't, mm -hmm. but because the people They're not willing. are not interested in providing the solution. Mm -hmm. mm. okay. mm. <laughs> so, we, I don't want to be here for too long, but hear this. If we, had, we try to look at the sequence, sometimes I'm not good at remembering dates, when I said what, but I can remember everything that I said. Wow. But the first time that we spoke about this disease was, was when? It was uh, 2015, 15, Father. 2015, that's how many years from now? <laughs> Five. Five years Five ago, years Father. Ago. Okay. And then pointing out the source. Yes, Father. And even pointing out how they would struggle until today. Yes, one. Mm. Trying to investigate mm. where did this thing come, come, from, from? come from? Okay. And then we are here today. Now the things that I would want our people to understand. These are the things. Thank you. Thank you. When we had the outbreak, 
starting with China. China. Yes, Father. And I asked our people here to pray. Yes, Father. Mm -hmm. Let's pray. And yes, don't think that what you see happening there will end with there. there. Mm -hmm. Yes, Father. Don't never think that you're safe because mm -hmm. you're mm -hmm. here. That's yes, the exact word there. <laughs> mm -hmm. So we had to pray for this thing. Mm. And we came back later when we now had that uh, the Chinese had managed to put this thing under control. Yes, mm. 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 And they made that announcement mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. officially. Yes, yes Father. And they were so happy and they were so excited. Mm. And they were even bragging about it. Yes, yes Father. That we have, we have mastered this, this thing. Yes, yes Father. Father. How they overcame it was not something that they were willing to share. Yes, yes Father. Father. Yes, Father. What we got from them were just maybe the ventilators and the mm. and, mm. yeah. Mm. Yes. And, and, and Father, a lot of countries were reporting that those same ventilators, those same masks, mm. that same PPE equipment they were getting from China was contaminated. Right. Bef be even before we look at that, if you make an announcement that now your clinics and hospitals are empty, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. what did you give to the people? Yes. Yes. Was it a mask? Was it the, the, the isolation that cured the people? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Was it the ventilator? Are yes, you telling Father. me every single patient in China got a ventilator? It was on a ventilator? No. No. So what then is being distributed to the rest of the world? Is it the exact thing that they applied? And not if even a single person comes out to ask the Chinese government, what is it that you used? Is it the exact thing that you're giving to us? Mm. Mm. No one talks about that. This is why I'm saying the greatest plague that we are currently facing are the people. Yes, Father. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Mm. So in addressing the plague, we must never leave out certain individuals. Right. Yes, Father. Because this thing is being administered. It is being conducted. Mm. There are people who are in control of this pandemic. Okay. Um, there are so many things that we see still present on YouTube and on Facebook. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm which are very destructive if our children are to look at yes. some of those materials. Yes, yes, Father. Yes. They get affected. Yes, Father. Mm -hmm. And no one sits da down to bring those things down and, and remove them. But mm -hmm. anything that you say these days concerning this disease, say everything that you want to say concerning HIV, concerning cancer, but this thing is so precious to them. Mm. Yes, mm. It's, like a, it's like a baby that really needs to be nurtured until it grows. Yes. Yes, Father. What is it about this, this disease? That it has to be protected so much. So much. So much. That media houses have to be paid mm. Mm. to maintain a certain narrative that they just want to push out there. Whoever speaks anything, anything concerned, we have to wait for a certain class of people to come out and, and speak. Hmm. Now, the issue here is this. Let me help you understand certain Thank you, parts. Father. Thank, <laughs> you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you. I personally dread so much the things that 
or the ignorance. I dread so much the ignorance of a rich man. Mm. I, okay. I, I fear that. Okay. The things that a rich man doesn't know, we have to fear that. Yeah. What they say and what they are thinking, mm. it has to be investigated. Yes, sir. Why I'm saying the ignorance of a rich man, it is because of how money can cover what the man doesn't know. Just like the way love covers the multitude of sins. A man with money is a dangerous man. Mm. Because I've watched rich people crack jokes which are not even jokes. And I've watched as poor people laugh mm. and rolling on the floor, not because of what he said, but because of the money that covers a multitude of sins. Mm. I've watched an employer playing football with his employees. <laughs> and the man on the gate, the goalkeeper, <laughs> is his finance director. <laughs> <laughs> and he's being marked by his secretary. They make sure that he scores. Yes. It's easy for him to be deceived into thinking that he's now a good soccer player. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There is a way that poor people treat the rich. Mm -hmm. They are given a longer rope. I've watched people with resources, because he had a keyboard, he had a guitar, he had a studio, and they would go on and record songs. Mm -hmm. And everyone is applauding them and celebrating it. No one plays their music in their car. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. There is something about money that when a man who has money has ignorance as well, his ignorance gets covered by the money. When rich people decide that we are going to be in isolation, in lockdown for the next five years, that's exactly what is going to happen. Fear the ignorance of a rich man. Of a rich man. Yeah. If they say today we can open schools, and as much as people are dying, as long as they can say the situation is under control. Yes, we are having people dying, but let's control this thing. Yeah. All the poor people, including very poor presidents, mentally, they will go by that. Mm -hmm. They are waiting for one rich person to make a decision. Just a group of people that we admire and we think they have money all along. We never, we used to think they are doing this to make money. They are doing that to make money and the money is clean. Until now, you begin to realize their love for money. Yes. So people can go that far mm. just so that they can make more money. Mm. Right, let's, let's, let's look at this. This is not the first time that we are having doctors coming out yes, to speak yes, and to say hydroxychloroquine it works. It works. It works. works. This is not the first time. No, Father. Okay. Now, before anything was said concerning this cure, we came out, I can't remember when. It was in February, Father. February. This mm. year. Mm. 9th mm. of February, mm. Father. <laughs> 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 uh, Father. Father, just allow me to say a few things about it. <laughs> Father, 9 February, they hadn't even figured out. Nine. 
Nine February. Nine February. Nine February. It's as good as we are, we are in January. Yes, yes. Father. Okay. They had not they even figured know. out what, what this actually is. Yes. They hadn't even given it the name it has now. Yes. And yet you, you came and you told us the exact medication, which is the hydroxychloroquine, Father. <laughs> ah. Let's say I'm wrong. The good thing is this, you see, all of us, we have an opportunity to air our different opinions. That's right. Because you don't want to have people who go after information that they perceive to be wrong and they don't provide information that is accurate, that is correct. If this doesn't cure, tell us what else. People are dying. Yes. People are dying. Mm. Now, the most amazing thing is that when you recommend a treatment that has been in the market for 65 years, being given to patients by mm. the doctors, mm. Mm. and now there is COVID, they are saying it gives people heart problems. Who approved it in the first place? Now, you watched a group of doctors that came out. Yes, a few days ago. Yes, yes, father. And they were saying, let's not allow our people to keep on dying. Exactly. This thing can be treated. Uh. We can open our school. <laughs> you heard some other people screaming from the background. Yes. yes. What, they are, what, they are, what, they are, what they are saying there, if you try to listen, it's, it's not an option. It's not an alternative. Mm. Whoever is attacking must be telling us what else, what is it that works? Yes. If this one doesn't. Yes, Father. And then they went on to attack and to criticize and to say these are not uh, real physicians. These are not doctors. These are not. And then they went to the same place the following day and they said, we are here. Mm -hmm. And our people don't look at that. I don't know why we are not smart to um, evaluate and to measure the intensity of the, the issue because it's not enough for you to be pulling down materials from, from whether Facebook, Facebook whatever. or whatever. Mm -hmm. As long as you have the people, why are they not being arrested? Yes. Yes. Because yes. those statements are very dangerous. Exactly. Yes. If the people don't know what they are saying, mm. how can they be found in that same spot the following, the following day? day? And they are not getting, being arrested for lying to the whole world that they are doctors. You don't go after their articles and then you, 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 you leave them. You, you, you leave them. <laughs> and you go after their articles. Yes. Ah, you see? Mm. And then you looked at how CNN was really on attacking one of that uh, doctor, the lady. Yes, ma'am. They were bringing out materials and how she's preaching in church, trying to uh, undermine whatever she has whatever, said. Yeah, that you, might, you don't take this one seriously. Yet there were other guys there. Yes. Whites. Yes. Yes. We have never been to any church. Why not also talk about their backgrounds as well? You see? Mm -hmm. Why attack somebody? Because she's in a different environment. She's preaching in a church. Whatever exactly. she's saying there, that's, that, 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 that message was never system. for you. Mm -hmm. That was the environment. So you can't bring that message and say because of the message that she's preaching, we can't take her seriously on this one. Ah. Now, my, this, looking at that, I, I, was, I was saying to myself, is she proposing that we pray? Isn't she? suggesting that we use the hydroxychloroquine to save ourselves. Is she saying let's fast? No. no. Is she saying let's go to the mountain and pray? No. no. So why attack her profession on the basis of her beliefs? Yes. Mm -hmm. Is there a law that says if you are a doctor and you, you mustn't then believe in anything Anything? No. no. There's no contradiction whatsoever there. None, Father. There are doctors that worship cows. Yes. And she's saying, 
we are here mm. 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 and why not try this thing exactly it works yeah now let's forget about her that same lady i don't know where she's coming from maybe it's nigeria or cameroon yeah, cameroon. cameroon yes i'm from cameroon yes i don't know <laughs> You, you begin to look at also, wh why is she not doing that in her own country? Okay? That's, wow. that's an important question. You Thank see? You, Father. Yes. You'll be shocked sometimes, depending on where you're coming from in Africa. Despite her being a legitimate physician in some of the African countries should have been arrested. Okay? Let's forget about her. We have, like they say, the most powerful men in the world. Mm. Mm. He is not the man with big muscles. No. He is not the tallest. Mm. He is not mm. the strongest. Mm. It is the most powerful man in the world. Mm. Mm. They say it is the President of the United States of America. Yes. There is no man as protected as the President of the United States. Mm. Yes, Father. Mm. Yes, Father. You should look at the team, the structure that is responsible for, for curing mm. his food. Mm. The food that they eat in Air Force One. Mm. 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 The structure, mm -hmm. the people that are involved. Yes, Father in providing food, making sure that nothing wrong gets into the system mm, of the president, of the most important person, the most powerful person. He gets into the plane, it's over 230,000 liters of fuel that that thing carries. Mm. 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 The technology that, is, that you find in that plane is into billions. Mm. You know, every hour he flies, every hour, every single hour that passes by while he is flying, 250,000 US dollars has been consumed. Mm. One hour, in one hour. Look at the space in that plane, mm. just so that you can have one person fly in there yes, sir. and everywhere from his car, his plane, they must be his blood type. His blood is in the fridge. His blood, not every other person, his blood, he's got spare blood ready to serve the most powerful man in the world. Mm. And who allowed such a man to swallow hydroxychloroquine? Right. Let's forget about what the doctors are saying. Who is? Because you can't have the most powerful men in the world mm. and then he has the weakest doctors. No. The most uneducated doctors no. helping him. No. 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 What makes him that powerful is because he has the most powerful people around him mm. to protect him. Mm. And they approve that he takes yes. hydroxychloroquine. Yes. Mm. Mm. Yes. And he comes out himself and he says, that's what I'm taking. Yes. Yes. And he doesn't have a mask. Yes. Mm. Yes. Isn't that a statement? Yes. What is he telling you people? Yes. He's pushing you to say, push us for this. Yes. He's telling you indirectly yeah. what you must protest for. Mm. Wow. If the most important people <laughs> whose food has to be vetted first, everything he takes, yes, mm. 
Hmm. Hmm. He is taking that, the thing that destroys the heart. The thing that destroys the heart, that's what he is taking. After we had said it, and I said this, this no Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I wanted, like I said last time, I wanted our people locally yes. to consider that and say, what is he talking about? Wow. Yes. It wasn't supposed to be that woman now coming out mm. and telling people that this thing works. It was supposed to be our officials. Yes. Now, you think that thing doesn't work? I don't know when are they going to have elections in America. I don't know. But as soon as they are done with the elections, watch. Watch what I'm telling you today. This same cure, this same medication is going to be approved. They are just waiting for election. It's, an, it's, an, it's, an, it's, it's, it's a political thing. This information, hear me. He went on to make an announcement the president and the people around him were against it. It's fun. If this thing is to be applied at the announcement of that man, then that, he, that ensures his victory. Ah, during the elections. They make him the hero. Uh -huh. So the chaos that is prevailing right now is needed for him not to get back into power. Mm. These people know what is going to happen. I, I'm not talking about the rest of the world. You, you don't control nothing. I can't be sitting here talking about you. Mm. You, didn't, you didn't have an idea. Like I said last time, had they not told us there is such a virus. We would have known. We would have known. There was never going to be any lockdown in Africa. We are that ignorant. We have to be told everything that is happening. That's how poor we are. So I'm not here to talk about, I don't want Africans to look at this and, and think that maybe, no, 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 this, med, you are out of it. You are not important on this one. We are talking about the people that matter. Because right now, whilst we are in lockdown, that is the only solution that is the only, the best idea, the best, the best, <laughs> the best approach to this condition. While it's we are behind our closed doors, you ask yourselves, so we are here until when? What else is being done, done out there? Yes. To ensure that we come out. There is nothing, nothing completely. Nothing. So what is happening in Africa is that everyone must stay indoors while we are waiting. For other people, people, for other leaders to make decisions. <laughs> okay, okay. I, I, you see, I don't want to be here. I don't. I, I don't want. No, because this this issue. Honestly, this is life, Father. This yeah, is it life. is life. But you see, it's we are not the same in terms of our understanding of life. Yeah, this thing is so painful. Yes, Father. People are dying. It's People painful. are dying, Father. It's painful. People are dying. Yes, Father. So, then we came back and we said, God has uh, reduced this condition. This disease was very terrible. And because we are praying, mm -hmm. now, we have handed it over to you now. Doctors, deal with it. Mm. Now you can fight with it. Mm. It's within your range, your mm. expertise, your understanding. And then I said, stop trying to come up with a new cure, a new mm. medication. Mm. I said, you go back to something very common. <laughs> They'll pick a simple medication. Medication. Simple medication. Which is already being used, but it's not for that, partic for that particular disease. And this was there was no announcement before that. No article online where I could have borrowed that information no, from. No. no way. There was no way. This was March, Father. March. 
There was no way, Father. <laughs> so now, they, they look at that and they're saying, you see, we, 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 can't, we can't have that. Hmm. Now, my, 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 my problem is when we have the biggest funder, like I said, of mm. the vaccine. Mm -hmm. Two videos that I watched. Yes, sir. In fact, there are quite a lot, but I want to talk about these two. Yes, sir. The other one, he openly said that normally a vaccine would require five years mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. ten years. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Five years minimum, father. Minimum. Minimum. Mm -hmm. Five years. Mm -hmm. And that is normal. Mm. Then he comes back and he says, we believe 2021, we, are, we, are, we will be ready. Mm. Doesn't make sense. They wanted to have it this year. How? <laughs> what kind of a vaccine is that? Even with the ones that have gone beyond 15 years, 20 years, still HIV is not yet under control. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then in one of the videos he said, we are even yet to understand this disease. Yes. And then in that same video he talked about the, the, cure, the cure of something that yes, you don't, don't understand. understand. Yes, Father. He's confessing, telling you that we are yet to figure out how this thing operates. This thing is very strange. This thing is very confusing. Mm, mm. And then you are so confident that we can have a vaccine that same year or the following year. When was the outbreak? Is this the only thing killing people? No. We've had other diseases before. Yes, Father. For years. When are we going to officially launch the vaccine for all those diseases. Mm -hmm. But this one, this one, and they tell you it's so dangerous, we can't even be thinking of opening up. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so all this, we are saying it, we are recording it, it will not remain here. They will try to remove it from... The yes. But people should be looking at why is there so much serious fall-up on this matter? Imagine to the ordinary individual's Facebook page, to the ordinary individual's Twitter, they make sure that that information is taken away. <laughs> ordinary. Because we must not be talking about any solutions as of now. Yes. Until we come up with real solutions according to them. Real solution, solutions. So, it's very terrible. And, um, um, what really disturbs me is when you are sitting at home knowing that the people that are supposed to be responsible for ensuring the safety of the people are not doing anything. Yes, sir. You know, when you're told to wait, at least you need to be hearing that something is underway. Yes, Father. Yes, Father. I have a lot of things to say about that, but I'm just amazed at the level of greed. Mm. The love of money over the lives of people. Mm. Mm. It's a shock to me. 
It's a shock to me. And all you hear is about men of God being criticized for loving money. See, let me say this and I'll, I have to let the people go, honestly. It's a sad thing that we are, we are dealing with here. I'm saying this because, not because that's what is being said by the media houses. We are always on the forefront. We said it before they said it. Yes, yes Father. Yes. 100%. Yes, Father. When this COVID thing started, we were on the forefront. Yes, yes Father. From, from five years ago. Yes, yes Father. Father. The cure before they made an announcement, mistakenly, we had announced it. Yes, yes, Father. Then the racism issue that then came up concerning the black men, mm. we were already on the forefront. Yes, yes, Father. Yes, Father. We had talked about the black men. Yes, yes we were talking about the yoke on his neck. neck. Yes, yes, Father. That needs to be broken yes, yes. before the knee. Was on, was on the neck of the black man. Yes, sir. So what we should have done is to consider, because we have different institutions in most of the African countries, spiritual institutions, the church. And some spiritual institutions which are regarded as traditional, <laughs> no, traditional healers okay. are there. They are considered as well okay. yes. in most of the, the countries. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Not just in Africa, everywhere. Mm. Where they have approved the use of Herbs. Yes, Father. Mm. Okay? And we have institutions like that even in this country. Yes, Father. Yes, Father. Okay? We are yet to hear of their recommendations. Mm. Mm. Whether what they have recommended, if ever they have made any recommendation, was that recommendation uh, put to test? What are they contributing? Mm -hmm. Because we seem to be in a competition where these people, they get most of the attention of the politicians. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they are considered to be solution providers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. How many videos have you watched where men of God, pastors, preachers, evangelists, missionaries are being criticized for not providing solutions mm. to this problem. Mm. So many. Yet not even one which doctor is under attack. Yes, yes, not even one. Okay. What should have been done was to consider what we call here locally, not on, which is the hydroxychloroquine. Yes, Father. Yes, Father. We know maybe they were no longer pro uh, producing it, but it is still in production in other countries. Yes. We should have ordered that and tried it. Yes. Yes, yes Father. Mm -hmm. And I'm willing until today to say, if it doesn't work, then you can make an official announcement that this thing doesn't work. Then I will have to revisit my visions and consult God again and say, the thing that you recommended is not working. 
why, why are we not making efforts mm. to prove God wrong if God is wrong? All right. It's a painful thing, but honestly, I'm telling you this. You have to hear this from me. Yes, sir. I'm counting days from now. I need to hear this from our responsible people. If Hydroxychloroquine is not the cure. Let's have an official statement. Let's have trials starting now. Whether they like this or not, you will have to undertake this exercise. Hmm. You will see how we operate, some of us. <laughs> this is not a preaching or a teaching. This is going to save you. And I'm not recommending that anyone takes this. You have to hear this from your doctors. I only play my role as a prophet. I advise as a prophet. And you are the most physical and practical people that we have. An idea from a man who is spiritual. If that idea is physical, if he is talking of something that you can get a hold of, prove it. Try it. Mm. Test it. Yes, sir. If you don't want to try this, the same medication that you have been using for years, if you don't want, if you find it dangerous to try such a medication, trying, I'm not saying go, go ahead and use, try it. If you, if, you, if you can see any dangers in doing that, where is your confidence for the vaccine coming from? What makes you think that you will ever test the vaccine and verify it and be sure that it is safe for your people? If you are afraid of a 65-year-old medication. Mm -hmm. No, on this one, I'm, I'm, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. We want to save life. We're not talking about opening stadiums so that people can go back and we're not talking about um, going back to the marketplace and it's not, it's not all about that. It's not, it's, not, it's not about going back to church. It's not about going back to church. No. Saving lives. We are saving lives. <laughs> Some may think maybe, oh, I think they just want the churches to open and so that they can go back and, and, and take offerings from people. <laughs> you must be smart enough to remember when last did we even raise offerings here live? <laughs> long. When last did we Make an announcement that you can send your seat, send your seat. When last? When last? You can put the video there and the dates and you tell me when. We are coming here every time. Yes, Father. And this is exactly what we've been doing in our churches. You know, most people are beginning to realize that, are you telling me that this is what they've always been doing? Because they think when we are in church, maybe there is something else that we are doing. Mm. It's the word of God. If we never heard the word of God, where are we getting it from now? Where we go into four hours talking to people yes, mm. from the word of God. Mm. It can't be an emergency that can give you such revelations. No. 
No. It's a lifestyle. This is what we've been doing all along. Oh. Yes, fam. And you used to think maybe people are just gathering so that they have their monies taken away by... No. Who is asking for money? Even if you want money, we can collect money. Life. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Yes, mm. Lockdown can never make <laughs> pastors poor. No. You see? The issue is not about going back to churches and gathering again. We are talking about saving lives here. Saving life. Saving lives, people that are dying. Yes, yes Father. Father. Must be saved. Yes, yes Father. So, we need help. Like I said, on this one, Whoever is responsible, we are giving you very few days. We need to start hearing about this thing getting tested, tried. If it doesn't work, then let's forget about it. At least let's try something. Yes. The reason why I'm saying this is because we can't be sitting, waiting for the people. This is my position, pastors. This is, this is how I see things. This is why I'm disturbed. I'm disturbed because I've been, I don't, I don't want to be disappointed when I have faith in people. People must never betray that faith that confidence that I have in them. Yes, sir. There is not even a single African country that is not crying over sanctions imposed on us by the same countries that we are waiting for to come up with a vaccine. Mm. 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 That confusion to me, it doesn't, it doesn't have a place in me. That, that, that confusion, you are saying everything else in terms of problems, the restrictions. It's coming from the same people. And you're waiting for the ultimate solutions again from the same people and you want me to believe you that you're serious about that. The types of food that they are pushing into Africa that they don't give to their own children. You are getting that from them. <laughs> they are not helping you in treating your water. Nothing is happening there. Yes. They are not helping you in building hospitals and providing some other medications no. mm. Mm. and you trust that the solution that is going to save you is going to come from them stop confusing us you told us these are your enemies we heard you when you said that these people are against us why should we then wait again for them to bring solutions to the same problems that they have created for us. What are we doing? This is my worry. I'm talking to Africa. I'm not a Zimbabwean prophet. We cover nations. Yes, Father. Okay? So I'm talking concerning Africa and everyone who is part of the African government. Different governments that we have in Africa, from the top to the bottom. Yes, Father. They have to hear this. Why should we keep on dying? This disease is deadly, pastors. 
this thing can kill. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Let's not wait for those business people out there. They are up to no good. Pharmaceutical companies are waiting just so that they can feast on this matter. This thing I've told you it has gone way beyond the medical. It is now a religious thing. Heading towards the mark of the beast. A creature that John saw. Another beast that came from the sea. And this disease is from the, the sea. sea. We know what we are dealing with. We have that information. Tell me one vaccine that has ever worked. One. And this one is going to work now. We are not serious. We are not serious. We are not serious. If we want our people to survive, it's not medication. It's not even the hydroxychloroquine. I told you, we have to keep, protect the human immune system. Oh, yes, mm. ma'am. Let's have our people Dwell in good environments. Yes, ma'am. The healing of our water. The water that we are drinking, the food that we are eating. Yes. If that can be verified first, then we are the most safest people on the face of the earth. Thank you, Father. As long as we keep on eating rubbish, to show you that we are dealing with spiritual forces here, why is it my daughters and my sons are not being healed? Is there no balm in Gilead? There was balm in Gilead. Some people may come out and say, you people, I don't know why, what is wrong with you? If this thing can cure, why are people still dying? You hear people saying that? Yes, mm. Yeah, they say, if that thing can cure, how is it that people are dying? Who told you people are being given that thing? Yes. They don't want that thing to be given to people because they are saying, it's not safe. We have to wait. Until when? If the vaccine comes out next year, it's unlike any of the vaccines that we have seen before that have failed us. Yes. yes. Now, this is, the, this is the, 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 the fastest one ever in history and the people are saying we are here to understand the disease and they are already working on the on the on the cure and the probability of failure is even higher it's even higher every normal human being must see look at what is happening and bleed this thing must really touch you yes sir. When you see and you watch as other countries are burning bodies. Mm. Mm. Burning. In truckloads, Father. Yeah. This thing is serious. And we don't want to try. We hear from the few that are saying the medication is not good. After 65, they were allowing us to consume it in Africa. Now, mm. now they are saying, let's give it to our local people. They are saying, no, it's dangerous. And the president is coming out to say, I'm taking that. Mm. <laughs>
<laughs> and he walks into places where there are people without a mask and he's not afraid, no gloves. Mm. Who told him that? Who is giving him that confidence? Yes. yes. Who is giving him that confidence? He knows he's safe. He's, he's, he's saying, I'm okay. Mm. Mm. This is what I'm taking. Mm. He's been very open about open it. Open about it, yes. And these daughters that are coming out, they're saying, all oh, these officials yes. Yes. that are forbidding you from taking this medication, they are taking it themselves. Father, they even went as far as to ask for samples of urine. Mm -hmm. To say, if you're not taking, you're not it, taking it, it, we'll prove you wrong. Bring us a samples. urine sample and we'll test it. And then we are waiting for them. We are waiting for them. <laughs> we have a very big problem. A very big problem. A very big problem. Let's wait and see the kind of vaccine that, that is coming to Africa. Let's wait. Let's wait and see. <laughs> we'll see when it comes. <laughs> Waiting, that's all that we are here to do. Oh, it's a shame. It's a shame. It's a shame. These people, now they love us. How they seek to erase the history of the black man. Mm. How they deleted him even from the Bible. Mm. <laughs> It's a coup that is happening. It is the eradication of the black man. A black man is the most endangered species. We are not needed here. It's high time we open our eyes and see how can we, all of us as blacks, take one product that comes out of the hand of one man Mm. Mm. No, Father. Have you followed your, his philosophies in the past? His ideologies? His thinking pattern? Mm. A man who is irritated by the population. Population. Population saying we are now too many. And you allow such a man to come up with a product that all of you have to take. What is wrong with you? We need a solution to this problem. We need a cure. There are people who are being paid as doctors, as scientists, to come up with solutions. Let them come up with solutions. If what we are saying here is not true, if, a, if I lie, there's a prophet, then that's not my responsibility. There are people who are getting paid for coming up with solutions to such problems. Let them do their work. Let them be funded. Let's channel every money, every dollar that we have towards saving lives. Yes. What is it that we are going to come up with in Africa that is going to save us? Yes. What is it? Our local money is not working. Our local herbs are not working. Our local doctors are not working. Local teachers are not working. Our local prophets are not working. Everyone is being ignored. What is wrong with us? We have to sit, pray that God will drop an idea to them. Mm -mm. No, Father, no. No. <laughs> I 
I've seen how blacks are being treated by the same people that are bringing a cure. Same black people. I'm smart enough to see that. I can't be deceived. I can't be deceived. Where is our doctors? Where are they? Do we have scientists? Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? What are they doing? What are they doing? What are they doing? <laughs> Go ahead and pull this information down. Pull it down. But we have already disrupted oh, yes. this was agenda. Yes, oh, yes, yes. God has overtaken you. Yes. Heartless people who wants to make money out of people's misery. We have to wait for five people. Six people who mm. just want to make money. They just want to make money. Ah, uh, no, Father. No. With the way that they have attacked this cure, you'll be surprised. Be very careful. Even by the time you start ordering this hydroxychloroquine, keep on verifying it. Compare it to the original. With these people that we are dealing with, you watch. Because they really want to destroy this. Keep on checking. Compare them. Very soon you'll start hearing news. We'll start having different types of hydroxychloroquine. Mm. Mm. One that doesn't work will have to flood the market just so that they can prove a point. They don't want people to recover. We are dealing with very evil people. Very evil people. I'm not talking about Africa here. I'm talking about the people that are helping you. You don't matter, like I said, on this issue. You, you rely on what they are saying and what they are doing. That's what I'm telling you now. Oh, Father. You end up ordering hydroxychloroquine. They will come and people will be given and nothing is going to happen. To be different. They are working on tempering. If they are tempering on information, attacking, pulling down information about it. They can temper with the drug. Now they will begin to temper the drug. Yes, ma'am. Mm. Neutralize it. Paralyze it. And then they will say, here it is. Let's try it. Is it the same thing that we're talking about? No. It's no longer the same thing. The population as we speak, is going down. Mm. If they're not going to kill people with a vaccine, mm. they are killing people with the plague. Open your eyes. It's not all about killing people with a vaccine. You can kill people with the plague. Not allowing people to be treated. The population is still going down. They are fulfilling their, their assignment. Mm. Should we wait until five years? No, Father, no. Mm. Five years? No. And some of these people are still making money. Whether you're on lockdown, the more you stay indoors, the more you're consuming using their product. Everyone is on computer right now. Mm. 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 They're making money. You can't get out of your house, go to the shop and buy anything. You have to go on the, in the and, and somebody has to, has to, and they're making money out of that. Mm. You shop online, ordering, and they are, they are sending it to your country. Still some, somebody's business is going, up. going up. By the time this COVID ends, do you know 90% of the businesses are never going to recover? Never going to recover.
I question a lot of things, that's why I'm like this. I'm shocked when the most educated, the most intelligent people have to come out today after 65 years and telling me that they cure the medication in circulation mm. will create problems for me, mm. heart problems. Today, you're telling me today, and your president is taking it. <laughs> you will not win this, 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 this war. Yes, thank you. You will not win. You will not win. Delay it all you want, but you will not win. Eventually, eventually, victory is coming. Yes. Receive, receive it. Victory is coming. Yes. You can't, you can't rush the vaccine. There is no way. You are betraying yourselves. You can't. You told us five years. You can't rush it. You can't rush it. I said it before. If you bring it out today, then I know you had it already. Yeah. In store. Uh -huh. Before the outbreak, you were preparing for this. Don't bring it out now. Anytime soon. If it comes out now, and you say it's ready. You had it before. Let's wait for five years. You said it yourselves. Let's go by what you have told us. Five years. Let's go by that. So are you telling me, Pastor, that we are going to continue in this state for the next four years? No, no. Three years? No. Five years? <laughs> That's a joke. No. That's a joke. No. Let's try everything we have. It's better that way. Trying everything we have. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. If it means we are going to try everything, roasting peanuts and then and, and trying it, at least we are trying something. Let's yes. try something. Yes. We yes. can't allow our people to keep on dying without trying. Oh, we can. Yes, let's keep on trying. Let's keep, let's put all the money that we have into that and we save lives. We shouldn't be running any project as of now. Let's focus on this. Mm -hmm. Let's save lives. That, that's the most important thing yes. now. Yes. yes, Father. Yes. So, I felt I needed to say this. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank and you. I don't regret saying whatever I've said because we need someone who can speak. I'm not coming after. I'm not copying anyone. I spoke about this. Yes, you yes, Father. If you think I may be delusioned, maybe I'm confused, but I told you about this disease before it came. Yes, Father. Tell me I lied. I told you about the neuron. Yes, Father. The hydroxychloroquine. Yes, Father. Before the most powerful country came out to announce. They came out after me. I had said it. Tell me I'm lying. The solutions are within. We have the solutions. It could have been us from January. Yes. Uh-huh. We're supposed to be the first country. Yes. Because it started from here. Yes, Ron. It was supposed to be our doctors trying this. Yes. yes. And coming out to say, we have tried this thing. It works. It works. It works. Because I came out to say, now you can cure it. Mm -hmm. The door is open. Yes, Go Ron. ahead and try this. Yes, Ron. You think I can just come out and say, Ah, uh, yeah, vaccines are dangerous and so on and so on and it like trying trying to undermine. No, 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 no. I, I'm not a, that kind of a person who criticizes without a solution. Mm. Mm. That's not my style. That's mm. not my character. Mm. You, you hear me undermining something, I will elevate. I'm telling you there is something already in existence. Yes, Father. That's what I said. So if you come out, attack everything that I've said, but I want to hear your solution. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. Yes. I'm not that person who says when I say things, people must take it and then, no, 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 no. You have to criticize everything that I'm saying, but we want to hear a solution. Yes. 
Yes. What is the way forward? Yes. If this doesn't work, what works? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If what I say it is wrong, tell me what is right. Yes. All of us have access to internet. You can do your own life, right? Yes. And then I can also come and view what you say. I need something that I can hear from you. Yes, Father. But what gives me an upper hand is the grace. God allowing me to see it before you even saw it. <laughs> that makes me a much better source. Whatever you are going to say today is based on what you have seen already mm. physically. Mm. Yes. Mm. So I deserve to speak to people concerning this. Yes, yes Father. What I'm saying is, few days from now, few days from now, we have to start looking into this. If it doesn't work, then that's okay. I'm okay with that. I will stop talking about it. I'm pushing you to try it. Let's try it. There's no harm in trying. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Let's save lives. People are very important. Let's save lives now. If we don't, this thing is going to keep on killing more people. This thing will kill more people. Hear me, brothers and sisters. This thing will kill people. Yet, at this point, we can stop it. Yes. Mm. Mm. And why not stop? Thank you, pastors, for having me here today. Wow. The voice has spoken. Father, you have spoken life. <laughs> and I have nothing more to add or to say, but to say thank you. You have given us life. Thank you. Father, we just want to hail the power of your word. Father, when you started us in this journey of studying spirits, you said to us, by the time we get to spirit speech, you're going to begin to see certain things taking shape and happening. Mm. And Father, as we got into spirit speech, Father, we are looking at it and we are seeing the marvelous work of your God. This speech which you established long ago, you said it in February, Father, and you said norolon, which is chloroquine, is the medication mm -hmm. for the COVID-19. And Father, they did everything to try and bury that word. Mm -hmm. Mm. The prophecy was removed mm. from YouTube. Yes. And it appeared as though everything had just quietened down about hydroxychloroquine. Mm. And Father, it is so shocking, it's terrifying that after you teaching us about the power of spirit speech, it's as though that prophecy rose from mm. the mm -hmm. place where it was hidden. Mm -hmm. And that speech it remained established mm. the way it was. Mm. From nowhere, Father, hydroxychloroquine began to make noise again. As soon as you brought up and taught us about the power of spirit speech. speech. Mm. 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 Father, we, we thank you for being the light of this generation, the light of this era. Mm. Father, and we we are so grateful for the speech that you have uttered today, mm. that lives will be saved. Yes. Mm. Thank you for giving energy even to leaders who are afraid, Father, mm -hmm. of taking this medication and using it. Mm. Yes. Thank you, Father, that your speech has given them strength. Yeah. It's given them the boldness mm. to go and try mm. to save their people. Yes. You are strength, Father. Mm. Father, we are so grateful and we thank you for standing for Africa and for pumping the life of God 
into every area that is dead. Mm. Yes. Thank you so much, Father. Oh, come on. Thank you, Father. Wow. <laughs> oh, we thank God. We thank God. We thank God for today. We know and we trust that you've been blessed. Let's think on this. Let's take the words of the prophet and utilize them. Until we meet again next time.